it is Sonia from Jug Monkey Paint coming to you, Company coming to you live. See, I was so excited. I, I'm like stumbling over my words because I'm telling you, this kitchen came out gorgeous, okay? And you know what? I want you to decide, okay? Not me, but that's just kind of what I think. But uh, I want to know what you guys think, all right? So who saw? Hey, Stacy, thanks for being on here. Hey, Ashley, my girl. So who saw the picture that I put up right before we came on live of Karen? Meet Karen. Let's meet Karen. Karen! <laughs> Karen baked me cookies. Like, not just once, but multiple times this week, seriously. Yes, everyone needs a Karen in their life. I just want you to know. <laughs> so, Karen, um, you just saw your kitchen cabinets. We're going to share with all our friends what it looks like right now. We're talking about a little bit of the power of paint and what you can do to flip your kitchen without having to spend a ton of money. But what are some words that you would use to describe your kitchen before? Like, close your eyes. Think about what it was like when you walked in here before. Dated. Dated? And just... Uh... Boring. Okay. Yeah. You're not a boring person at all, are you? Not so much. And we updated the rest of the house. It was like the kitchen was like the last thing that needed done. It was like the final nail. Right. You know? Yeah. So, and now it is just above and beyond what my expectations Yay! were. The final piece of the puzzle. And it's funny because the kitchen is a place where you actually hang out. One of the most places that you hang out in oh, your yeah. house, right? Especially Kitchens, bathrooms, comes. bedrooms. Yes. When company comes. This is where everybody hangs. So easy just to flip whether we're talking furniture or whatnot, just with the power of paint, people. Yes. So you guys know, Marilis says, hey, hey, Jan, I can't wait. Hey, Elaine, hey, Christy, Nancy. I know, isn't, aren't I terrible? I'm just making you girls wait. <laughs> um, so I want to tell you, this is my last kitchen cabinet flip, okay? I've been doing them last year, this year. I flipped about 70 sets of cabinets at this point. And as our business grows, I just don't have the time to keep being able to do them, okay? So about three months ago, um, made the decision that I would go ahead and stop taking book and bookings for kitchen cabinets. Karen was the last one to get in. We would go God. buy a Powerball ticket, girl. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Save the best for last. It came yeah. out beautiful. Yeah. So you guys are going to see me uh, do lots on our Facebook page and really be on here, okay, a whole lot. But because all the time that I spend doing kitchen cabinets, now I'm going to be able to have that time to be on here with you guys, teaching you paint techniques. And I get so many questions about that, and I want to be able to help you guys make your home beautiful and do it on a budget do it through the power of paint, right? So who's ready? I just think I should just flip the camera around. What do you think? Do it. <laughs> Melissa, best cabinet flipper <laughs> ever. <laughs> Absolutely. There we go. What do you guys think? No more, say it with me, no more brownie oh, frowny. Heck no. And what's really cool is that she was actually able to keep her same hardware. But you would never know it because the dark, the wood was just tired and dark. And so it just all kind of blended in together, right? Now look at this. It totally makes your kitchen feel bigger, right? Oh, you know that. absolutely. So much bigger. And then we did a little bit of antiquing. Can you guys see it right here in the corners? So that's how, like, if you are blessed with cabinet doors that have this inlay, my friends, think about doing a glaze right around the edges because it will really, really make it pop. And as you can tell by Karen's decor, which is absolutely beautiful, and just, you know, just makes you feel warm when you come in here. It just goes together so nice. Oh, look, 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 I'm drawn to this. What is this over here? What is this over here? Oh my gosh, seriously. I'm telling you, I've already had one of these. I know it ain't polite to eat in front of other people, so I'm gonna have a cookie right when I leave again, okay, as a reward. Look, how sweet is that? She even left me notes saying, welcome back, Sonia. Like, seriously, I am just so blessed to have wonderful customers, okay? So I wanna show you over, over here as well, because this was her island. No more brownie frowny either, okay? So a couple things happened with this. It flipped from boring wood to a beautiful classic black, okay? Again, the same hardware. She, I, mean, I think they look great on here. And the other thing we did, or she did rather, before we did the painting, is she went and um, had bee board and put on the front of her um, island here. Take a look at her chairs. They're absolutely gorgeous. What color would you call this, Karen? To me, it's just like a tan. Like a tan a color? Tan. Yeah. Beautiful, right? With the black legs, or at least the expressive black legs. So look how nice this is. This is just the cheap bee board, guys, that you can get at your local hardware store. Actually, this, was just this, wasn't, this wasn't the board. We actually, there are actually sections that you click in. We bought the little better. Cool! Yeah. There you go. There's another option. So she's saying thing. that if you go to the hardware store now, you don't have to buy it as a whole sheet. No, you can buy individual packets. I individual think like packets. sheets, and then you click together. And you just like put them together like you would like maybe a uh, hardwood floor? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Like, seriously, just something to give extra meaty detail, right? And then here's something I want to point out. 
they took the time to actually flip out their plug to black, knowing that this was going to be black. And so if you have, um, if you're painting your island, um, you know, if you can switch out, I will tell you, it'll blend in so nice and it won't stand out like an eyesore, right? It doesn't detract from how your, um, your piece looks. So look how nice that is. So she was originally thinking about these two colors here. You guys would know them as antique lace and sandy tan toes. But as you can see with her house, and I'm gonna tell you, Karen is so cool. She's gonna take us on a uh, quick tour of a few projects that she's got going on. Absolutely gorgeous home. And listen, I could be friends with her because she's got a teal wall, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You didn't see this up here. I didn't see what? I, I forgot to show you that. Oh, let me see, what you got going on up here? My weather name. And I gotta show this only because the bunny's in the view. Oh, Look how sweet this is. It's my bunny that I used to have. Oh my goodness. Yeah. How beautiful is that? She paid tribute to a beautiful little bunny she had. She had somebody come in and paint this for her, right? I did, I did. Years Although ago. Karen, I have to tell you, is quite a painter as well. She is, she's definitely a very well-known uh, junk monkey in these parts. Look how pretty that is up there. Gorgeous. I love it. Lisa says she loves the bunny too. Oh, beautiful. Thanks. I like this, how you have your baskets on the wall. A different my way to put them. General. She, you are, general. right? <laughs> she is a dollar general, like yeah. probably frequent flyer. Is that yes. the word? Yes. Anyway, when I come in, I have to show you guys this because, okay, number one, can we take a moment so, you know, we can pick our jaws up off the floor and just pay tribute to this beautiful, beautiful plank um, farm style table. But how many of you guys just love the truck that we're seeing everywhere this year? Karen, you had to tell us because this is something that I was drawn to when I came in here. Um, who loves like, you know, the buffalo check and oh, yeah. the truck? Oh my gosh, my favorite two things Our for this year. Christmas can't, can't go wrong with I that. Know. I and look at these guys, all right? And guess where she got this guy? <laughs> Dollar General. She got the reindeer at Dollar General for like, what, $1.52 you yeah. got me? Yeah. Like seriously, run now, here's his partner. This is might be my favorite one right here. A dollar fifty, two dollars at Dollar General. Like, let's all go out and buy a whole herd of them, okay? And the trees are from Dollar General as well. And you've got the truck and the tree. And this guy over here came from Big Lots, okay? Are you blessed to have a Big Lots in your area? She was telling me sixteen dollars, and he's battery operated. And like, look how adorable that is, right? You don't have to have a cord hanging across your table. He just sits so perfectly there. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So Karen's been working on her house doing all sorts of things. And I have to tell you that the other thing I'm really in love with is this door right here. Tell us about this door, Karen. I love my door. Um, we had a pocket door there um, in our bathroom. Okay. And I kept saying I wanted a barn door, so I racked my brain until I figured out. I'm like, why can't we put it right there? And it's a nice focal piece when you walk right in front front door. So we took out the pocket door. Had a little issue with that, but I'm not getting into all that. Because <laughs> um, they use the light back in the Got the hardware on um, Amazon, and my husband and I got it put up, and it turned out beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? So this is actually her restroom inside of here. Yeah. Uh, that's a first, okay? I've never seen that in person. I've seen this sort of thing on Pinterest. It's, yeah. it's the doors that we all dream of, you know? Yeah. So just absolutely gorgeous. So I think a lot of the antiquing that we do in the doors will really play up yeah. to all the flair that you have going around here, okay? I wanna show you her gallery wall in just a second, but for anybody out there who's working on cabinets, I just kinda wanna give you a quick tip of how I did it. These are two that will go up over above her refrigerator that uh, the, the hinges will actually get replaced here in the coming days and then they'll all get set up, but they're ready and waiting to go up. So all I do when I work on antiquing, instead of going all over the cabinets, can you tell it's really me? Look, this stuff ain't made in China. All right, so this is the truth, okay? So this is what I do. I get myself a little paintbrush like this at like Walmart has packs. Don't get the little chintzy ones, you know what I mean? The ones that are like all colored handles because it's not gonna do a really nice job. This has a really nice flimsy edge. Can you see that? Like it's a really nice brush, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is dip it in. This is a brown antiquing glaze. And then what I'm gonna do from there is basically trace out my edge, okay? I'm gonna just trace out my edge with one. I'm not gonna put a ton on there. And then I'm gonna take a lint-free rag. I always like to keep, of course, my spray bottles with me. So I like to do a little dampened rag. And then I'm able to just kind of like wipe out with the rag, okay? And I just wipe around these edges 
and then maybe a few strokes just to keep everything looking really nice, okay? And then you can kind of clean up with any water, any excess that you have around. But the key is if you want this style doors, to make sure you just keep your glaze in the interior right here, okay? So you can glaze before you seal, and then it's sealed in. Or if you're somebody who puts your glaze on after, just trace over that little bit of glaze, um, I'm sorry, trace over that little bit of, yeah, glaze, with um, some sealer, okay, with another brush that's very similar, just to kind of like get it in there, all right? But you never wanna scrub at your glaze when you're ever cleaning your kitchen cabinets because, you know what I mean, you wanna make sure it stays in there. But it's made to imitate dirt and kind of like really feel like it's really had a, just, you know, longevity. It's been here for a while and it looks cozy. So uh, there's that space up there they're gonna go. Love it. And she was also showing me, I have to, I think that if I don't tell you guys about this, that I'll be a bad friend, okay? So when I came here, fell in love with this, right? She has a lot of like iron works um, throughout her house, absolutely gorgeous. And a lot of these patterns, this goes so nice with an Edison bulb inside. But tell us about it, Karen, because yeah. it's kind of like one of those things that we just kind of like, fell what? upon. I wanted a hanging light because we had a recessed light in there. So we went to Lowe's and they sell this kit where you take out the bulb and the fixture for this, the wire that goes up, screws into where the light socket is. You put the cover plate over and you have your bulb. Seriously, so all you do is it, you basically just install it into your socket. Yes, and it was $20 for the fixture. So it just fit into one like this, for Take example? Take that bulb out. Yep. You screw the fixture of this into the, where the um, bulb goes into. Yep. Slide the cover plate over. It hides it. It hides it, and there you are. And then you don't even need an electrician. Like, no, so I mean, it's super simple, yeah. Like I said, it was only $20 for that's, the fixture. That's, yeah. that's my kind of like DIY. Right, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> you see? Okay, I got one last thing. Let's show you guys, give you some inspiration um, about a gallery wall. One of the things I want to do is have somebody on my page here in the next week or two talking about how to build one because so many of you guys message me about, you know, what can I pull together to create a gallery wall? Karen did a beautiful job and she just recently did it. And I just want to show you guys because look how pretty that is, right? So it's just right here, and she's got, well, tell me, P is your last, stands for your last name, and then you just pick things that you liked? I did. Um, one special thing I want to boast about my husband. My husband woo -woo. made the arrow for me. Her I husband made an arrow, this. and he has started his wood shop downstairs. So I showed him a picture of the one I want. He went down, he cut it out, put it together, I painted it, I distressed it, and here we are. There you go. Thank you, so, hubby, right? Yeah, absolutely. He did That's awesome always the job. best. When you bring yeah. things into your home that are handmade or that just, you know, are sentimental to you for yeah. whatever reason, um, but you can make your gallery wall full of things that belong to other people yeah. in your family, you know, loved ones, anything, right? A gallery wall is supposed to be all about you, so you can do whatever you want, but I just think she did such a beautiful job. Janet says she's stealing some ideas. Oh, please. Absolutely. Thank there you. you. Thank you. <laughs> It's Karen's nice. a share. Our, so. our kids are gone now, so you know it's he and I now, and now it's wood shop is nice for both of us because he can put the projects out and I do the finishing. He brings my visual ideas to life, which is great. That's so. a great partnership, right? Yeah, that's yeah. really nice, right? Yeah. So her hubby helps her uh, bring the parts together, and she gets to make them yeah. pretty. So yeah. that's and cool. he doesn't ever say, "Oh no, I don't like that." He pretty much lets me decorate, and we're usually on the same page, so that works out really well. So that's a bonus. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because if he didn't like anything I like, because I like everything to be very homey, I want people to feel comfortable when they come to my house. So it worked out really well. And I think your house does feel homey. So I think that that's Thank a win. You. you did a beautiful you. job, don't you guys? think. So for those of you who are joining me, I um, just want to tell you that if you have a kitchen right now and you just want to do something different with it, you don't have to spend fifteen, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, which is what homeowners tell me the going rate is right now to get kind of like an average kitchen put back in place. Save that money, do something fun with the family, go on vacation, treat yourself. You can still have a beautiful kitchen and bring it all together. And here's Karen. She used her existing bones of her brown frowny but yet wooden kitchen cabinet set she made use of her existing hardware didn't have to spend money on that and her counter <clears throat> the difference sorry we cut up for a second the difference is it just goes so much nicer right now so yay so once again i'm drawn to the cookies all right guys i am going to get off of here so i can eat karen's homemade chocolate chip cookies all right so i just want to let you guys know that joining me um, I'll see you guys tomorrow on Home Talk at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. No, that's a lie. Don't even believe me. That's Thursday. Tomorrow's <laughs> Wednesday.
I don't know the days of the week anymore, okay? This is truth. All right, tomorrow I'll be on here live at my shop DIYing something because I've got some projects that I've got to get to. And then Thursday at Home Talk at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you hit subscribe. It's somewhere here down below. Um, for those of you who message me and say, how do I not miss your videos? I think you hit subscribe here somewhere and then you get notified when I'm live. So anyhow. All right, my friends, I am taking off. I am not a fortune teller, but I do see wine and maybe a cheeseburger in my future tonight. I just want you to know that, all right? Five guys and fries. Is there one close, Karen? Uh, yeah, right down in Pittsburgh now. It's like 10 minutes from here. Is that right? Yes. I know where that is. Right down to <laughs> all right, I'm off for burgers and wine. I will see you guys later. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.